In the early ages, the people were poor. There was not enough food to go around, and many went hungry. To help the family survive, when a new baby was born, the grandmother had the job of deciding if the baby would be allowed to live. Oftentimes, the baby boys were allowed to live, and the baby girls were not. This was because the boys would grow up to be warriors and protect the village. The girls would just be another mouth to feed when so many were starving. There was, in one home, a baby born to a new mother. She was a beautiful baby, and her parents loved her very much. But her grandmother felt that there was not enough food for another child, and decided that the baby should be thrown to the wolves. The mother heard this and quickly passed the baby out the window to a kind friend who was waiting outside before the grandmother could find her. The baby was hidden away by the friend, and the parents often visited the baby. They named her Hong Ji, or Little Honey. Her father made her a cradle, and she grew bigger every day. A fat cat also lived in the house with Hong Ji. The cat liked Hong Ji very much, and they played together all of the time. The cat's name was Du Belt Ji, meaning Little Double, because the cat was twice as loving as most cats are. One day, the men of the village went out to hunt, and the women went to gather nuts. While they were gone, a giant flood came. The entire village was washed away, the houses and the cattle and everything in sight. Hanji was in her cradle and was washed away in the waters too. Luckily for the little girl, the cat was with her in the cradle. As the waters threatened to upturn the cradle, Dub Belt G would jump back and forth, keeping them upright. The cat and the baby drifted for hours down the flooded river until they were swept into a quiet area next to a nearby village. The cat, seeing the village, howled and howled as loud as she could. A boy named Dirk heard the cries and followed the sounds to the bank. There he saw the cradle and the cat safe and sound. The baby was welcomed into the boy's family because there were only boys and no girls. Mm -hmm.